So finding a nice comfortable seat, maybe sitting cross-legged or with your legs stretched out in front of you or sitting on your heels. And closing your eyes. And beginning to deepen your breath. Connecting with this breath as a cycle that continually supports your life force. curious about how expansive that breath can be with the inhale and how much you can let go with the exhale even pulling the low belly and squeezing out any stale air that's been sitting in your lungs Awakening new energy. Recognizing these cycles of breath, the cycles of day and night that lead us through our days. Cultivating a little more attention for the beauty that's held within each of these cycles. The cycles of breath, the cycles of the day and night, cycles of summer and winter, the cycles of our life stages. And cycles of birth and death. And coming back to this breath right here, right now. One more excellent, nourishing breath here. And then inhale, bringing your hands to press palm to palm at your heart center. And as you exhale, gently open your eyes to the floor in front of you. With your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, looking up. Exhale, pulling the hands down, pressing the palms into each other, letting the elbows come out to the side, stretching through the wrists. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time. And then inhale, lifting up. And as you exhale, side bend to the right, pressing the right hand into the floor, stretching left side. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale up. Exhale, right. Inhale up. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. This time we'll stay here, reaching long through the left fingertips, keeping the shoulder pulled down the back. Left hip dropping towards the earth. Nice stretch through the side body. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, begin to circle the left arm in the biggest circles you can find. 
honoring those cycles of life in all forms, from breath to life, birth, and death and reversing to the direction of your circle. And ending with the arm reaching away from the head, lengthening the spine even though you're in a side bend, making sure that your heart is lifted, you're not rounding back, sinking backwards, lengthening equally through the front and the back body, dropping the right ear towards the right shoulder and moving the head a little forward and a little back. And with your next inhale, press up, let the arms stay heavy, head comes back to center, exhale here. Inhale, roll the shoulders to the ears, exhale out the mouth, down the back. Again. One more time. And then walking the hands out in front of you, stretching out from the low back and hips. And with your next inhale, walking the hands back in. Let's switch the cross of the legs. We'll do the other side, hands to the heart. Take an inhale, lifting the arms up to the sky. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, press back up. Both arms overhead. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. This time staying here, sinking down through the right hip, right shoulder, moving down the back, reaching through the right fingertips, opening the heart a little more towards the sky. Nice elongation in the right side body. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, begin to circle the right arm in the biggest circles you can find. Exploring movements in, in the shoulder. And then going back the other way, reversing the direction. Ending with the arm, reaching away from the head. Keep the heart lifted. Drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Very gently and slowly tilt the head a little forward and a little bit back. Keeping the breath flowing. And with your next inhale, pressing back up, coming to center, exhale, head comes center. Inhale, shoulders to the ears. Exhale, out the mouth, down the back. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Nice, let's stretch the legs out in front of us, bouncing out the knees, rolling the feet around, tucking your shirt in if you'd like. We're gonna be doing a little flow here in a moment. And from here, coming to hands and knees, feel free to put your blanket underneath your knees. We're gonna be doing a little flow from hands and knees in a little bit, so 
that helps you decide if you want a blanket or not. You might choose to have one. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. If you tend to have problems with your wrists, press down specifically through the base of the index finger and the thumb. And that helps send the weight forward into your hands from your wrists. So there's not as much pressure just going at, down into the wrists. Knees are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Take an inhale here. Exhale, round the spine, gazing towards the belly button. Inhale, tilt the pelvis, let the motion slide up the spine, belly drops, head lifts. Exhale, rounding back. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding back. Inhale, lifting, curling the toes under and press back to a down dog, bending one knee deeply and then the other. Stretching through the backs of the legs. With your next inhale, pulling forward to a plank pose, you're welcome to drop your knees if you'd like. Or staying here and we'll take three like half push-ups. We're just going to come down halfway and push back up. Nice, and then pressing back, down dog. With your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat. This is where we're going to drop the back knee to the floor, finding a low lunge here. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, palms facing down, bringing the arms to sweep down by your sides and back. Inhale, lifting back up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, pressing down. One more time. And then inhale, lifting up. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, we're gonna lift the left knee up and just press back through the right leg as far as you can with your hands still on the floor. So the knee's probably a little bit bent still. It's getting a nice stretch through that leg. Inhale, pulling forward, bending into the knee and then stepping back again, down dog. Inhale, pulling forward, plank pose. This time we're gonna drop the knees and press back to a child's pose. Deep breaths here. With your next inhale, pulling forward to hands and knees again. We're gonna do a little sequence from hands and knees with the right leg. So keeping the leg basically in the shape that it is right now. We're going to inhale, lifting the leg out to the side, kind of like a dog at a fire hydrant. <laughs> lifting the leg out, lowering it back down two more. Nice. Now we're going to extend the leg back behind us. And inhale here. And then exhale, rounding knee and nose towards each other. Inhale up. Exhale in. Two more. Inhale out. After that, and then we're going to inhale, lift the leg up and touch it down to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Two more. Nice. Feel those glutes and then bring the knees back to equally hold your weight on 
that floor, curl the toes under, and press back to a down dog, walking out your dog here. And then inhale, pulling forward to a plank pose. Drop your knees if you'd like. Holding here or three half push-ups. And then pressing back, down dog. With your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat, dropping the right knee to the floor, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting your arms up, palms facing down. Exhale, coming down like bird's wings. Inhale, lifting up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, pressing down. Back behind you one more time. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, touch the floor, curling the right toes under, lifting the knee and pressing back through the left leg only as far as you can, keeping your hands still on the floor, getting a nice stretch through the left leg. With your next inhale, pulling forward, and then pressing back with the left foot to a down dog, walking out your dog. Inhale, coming forward, to a plank pose, dropping your knees, pressing back, child's pose, two deep breaths here. And then inhale, pulling forward to hands and knees again. We're gonna do leg lifts but on the left side this time so keeping the leg in the position it is right now but shifting your weight over to the right inhale lifting the left leg out to the side back down inhale lift two more feel the glutes working and then we're gonna Extend the leg back behind us. Balancing here, take an inhale, lifting the gaze, lifting the leg. Exhale, knee and nose towards each other. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Two more. Nice, and then extending the leg out, touching down with the toes. Inhale, lifting up, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Engage your core so you don't crunch your low back. Two more. Nice, and then bending the knee, coming back to tabletop position. Curl the toes under, press the back. Down dog. Walking out your dog. With your next inhale, pulling forward. Plank pose, dropping the knees if you would like. Holding here or three little half push ups. And then pressing back. Down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat, dropping the left knee to the floor. Inhale, lifting the arms up, palms facing down. Exhale, pressing down and back. Inhale, lifting, adding a little back bend. Exhale, pressing down. One more time.
Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, touch the mat. Curling left toes under, pressing back again, lengthening through the right leg as much as feels available to you. So you're welcome to stay here and breathe. If you'd like to go further, I'm gonna press into the left hand and inhale, lifting right arm up. You might be able to press back a little more through the right hip, lengthening the right leg. Shining out through the crown of your head, lengthening through the spine. One more inhale. And exhale, coming back down, press back to a down dog. Mm. Inhale, pulling forward to plank pose. Exhale, dropping the knees, pressing back, child's pose. Mm. With your next inhale, Pulling forward, hands and knees. Shifting the weight over into the left knee. Picking the right knee up and we're gonna draw circles. Doesn't matter which direction, because we'll go both ways. With the knee. And then going back the other way. And then bringing the knee back down, curling the toes under, press back, down, dog. Inhale, pull forward, plank pose. Drop your knees if you'd like. Holding here, or three little half push-ups. And then pressing back again, down dog, yay! Hope you all are getting a little warmer this chilly day. With your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat. Dropping right knee to the floor. Finding your low balance here. Inhale, low lunge. Lifting the arms up, palms facing down. Exhale, sweeping the arms down and back. Inhale, lift, adding a little back bend if you'd like. Exhale, coming down. One more. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, touch the mat. Curling the right toes under, pressing back through the left leg. You're welcome to stay here and breathe. If you'd like to go further, pressing down into the right hand and inhale, lifting the left arm up, pressing back through the left hip. One more inhale and exhale. Bringing the hand down, press back, down dog. Deep breath. Inhale, pull forward, plank pose, dropping your knees, press back, child's pose. Inhale, pulling forward. Hands and knees, shifting your weight over into your right leg, and then begin to draw circles with the left knee. And going back the other way. And then bringing the leg back down. Hands and knees, curl the toes under, press back. Down dog. Inhale, pulling forward, plank pose. Exhale, dropping the knees, press back. Child's pose. With 
With your next inhale, dragging your hands back in towards your knees, shifting your hips over to one side, sliding your legs out from underneath you. And we'll make our way down onto our backs on the mat. Actually, before we do that all the way, let's roll up the blanket. Um, in a little blanket roll, and we'll use that in just a moment. So coming onto your back here, hugging your knees into your chest, and rock a little side to side. Placing your feet on the floor, hip width apart, in close to your body, nothing underneath your head. I'm just going to do one bridge pose here, pressing into your feet, lifting your hips up towards the sky. Breathing deeply, engaging your glutes, stretching through the front side of the body. One more inhale. And exhale, lowering down to the floor, hugging your knees in. Let your knees come away from each other, reach through the inside of the knees, grab onto the outside of the feet or the ankles for a happy baby pose. Rocking side to side here. And then finding your blanket roll and putting it behind you. So it's along your spine and supporting your head And stretching out the legs here, or you can keep them bent with the knees resting against each other, allowing a little heart opening in Shavasana today. Finding what feels best to you as you sink into stillness. Let's take two letting go breaths. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. And then sinking into stillness as you receive the beauty of each breath. back to the surface of your body. 
Begin to deepen your breath. You wiggle your fingers and toes. And as you're ready, bend one knee and then the other, placing your feet on the floor. And come to rest over on your right side. <clears throat> Taking a breath here and keeping your eyes closed and your attention internal. Gently press your way up to find a seat. Sitting with your eyes closed, allow these words by Joy Haro, who is our National Poet Laureate to wash over you. This is a poem called Eagle Poem. To pray, you open your whole self to sky, to earth, to sun, to moon, to one whole voice that is you. And know there is more that you can't see, can't hear, can't know except in moments steadily growing and in languages that aren't always sound but other circles of motion like eagle that sunday morning over salt river circled in blue sky in wind swept our hearts clean with sacred wings we see you, see ourselves, and know that we must take the utmost care and kindness in all things. Breathe in, knowing we are made of all this. And breathe, knowing we are truly blessed because we were born and die soon within a true circle of motion, like eagle rounding out the morning inside us. We pray that it will be done in beauty, in beauty. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs in to feel your heartbeat, your personal pulse. And take a deep breath of gratitude, sending that gratitude from your heart out to all the cells in your being. of your day unfold in beauty. Thank you so much for joining me for practice this morning. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.